Hi guys, so we're doing a little cleanse. Uh, this is something very different. This is actually a pendulum reading. And this is where we talk to spirit about whatever topic we feel like talking to them about. <laughs> Um, and today we're going to be talking about the collective. I thought it might be kind of nice to do a collective um, reading because everybody's always talking about the collective and very few people have a concept of what the collective is. So if the pendulum is moving in this motion, this is a yes motion it's coming towards you if it is moving in this motion this is a no motion no answer okay so spirit good afternoon or good morning I'm not even sure which it is <laughs> The collective. Is the collective human beings? That is a yes. Is the collective considered one group of people? Yeah. Is there a collective conscious? Is there a collective unconscious? And the collective conscious is people who are awake to spirituality and um, things that are not necessarily in the spiritual realm? No. Okay. People who are in the collective conscious are people who don't see spirituality. They just, no. Um, people in the collective conscious are aware of something outside of themselves, possibly. Yeah, so the spiritual realm. God, angels. Okay, so this, the collective conscious is aware of something other than their humanness, I guess is the way we should say this. Okay. Now, collective unconscious would be exactly the opposite, right? They would be um, people who are, they don't, they don't see anything outside of themselves. They, they're born, they live their life, they die. There is no spiritual component. Okay. Uh, so the mass majority of the people who would be listening to a video like this is going to be the collective conscious. All right. And within the collective conscious... Is, is the entire collective conscious, is that one particular energy, right? We know they're all humans, uh, but the collective conscious is considered an energy. Are there multiple energies within the collective consciousness? There are. 
and would you say there are 20 different energies? Uh, 30 different energies? 40 different energies? 100 different energies? 200 different energies? There can be. <laughs> so there's many different energies within the collective conscious. And I would imagine there probably is in the collective unconscious as well. Okay. And all of those energies. So let's say we had 500 marbles and we split those 500 marbles into um, 20 different groups. That would be representative similar to to the energies within the collective conscious. And each of those energies are functioning um, or each of those marbles are in a group of energies because of their thought process, their daily habits, their, um, their mannerisms, the things that they think, the things that they say, the things that they do. Okay. Now, if somebody is in the, let's say, one particular group, can they get out of that group and join another group? Yes. Okay, and how did they do that? Do they do that by thinking it into existence or like in a manifesting sense or do they do that by changing their behavior? Both, both, both all of the above, but they can move between groups but they have to change their behavior in order to move into another group. And are there hierarchies in these groups? No hierarchies, okay. So they can, they don't need permission, they don't, need to do anything different other than be better people or be better energies to move into the new groups. And does that happen um, right away? Like if somebody changed, let's say, okay, let's say that somebody had an alcohol addiction and they were in a particular group and they had been in that group most of their life and they stopped the alcohol. They move into a new group, correct? Because they changed that behavior. Does that happen pretty quickly or does it take some time? It, it takes some time. So they actually have to to demonstrate that they are over that addiction before they're moved into a new group because you wouldn't want to move them into a new group and then have them relapse and possibly cause an energy imbalance in the new group. Got it. So just changing the way we think and the way we function and the way that or the things that we allow in our body that will put us 
into a new energy, a new collective energy. And the only way to get out of that energy is to fall back into our old habits or no, if we develop new habits, would that do it? No. So we wouldn't fall out of this energy, the new energy, unless we did something that elevated us to an even newer energy or something that, well, there is no hierarchy. So it's not like you're going to get kicked out if you do something bad. <laughs> uh, you just go into that energy. But if you're in a new energy and you re re-pick up alcohol, you're going to go back to the old energy because you can't sustain in that new energy, correct? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, what about changes to your spirituality? Uh, would that change the group that you're in? It does. And is that based on your faith, uh, faith in God or faith in the universe? The stronger your faith, you could end up in a new group or a new energy because your faith has changed. Like uh, maybe the I am presence. Uh, I am would be a group all in its own, I would imagine. And you would have to be an I am affirmationist to join that group. Hmm. But you could fall out of that group by no longer doing affirmations or no longer believing or losing your faith. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, the moral of the story is to maintain or grow. Don't go backwards. You want to increase your faith. You want to increase your love of the universe, of God, of the beings that are in the universe your love of animals, your love of nature, those things would all fall into uh, a faith-based category. And if you picked up bad habits, lost your faith, um, started, I don't know, doing bad things to people or manipulating people, then you would end up falling into another group of people and you would be considered a collective there. And of course you recommend uh, being in higher vibrational energy as often as possible. Okay, there you have it, guys. I hope this answered some questions. I can't think of any other ones right at the moment. But if you have any, leave a comment in the comments below. Uh, just so you know, I make custom pendulums. Uh, this is my go-to. It has a little angel and a little infinity and angel wings at the end. <laughs> and it is selenite and I have another one this one I use for healings and this one is uh, 
hearts and infinity and it has um some moonstone on it angels a cross and angel wings and i do make these and i sell them on my web page i also do um, stands these are single stands for pendulums and i do multi stands and all different kinds of stuff so if you're interested in um learning to read with pendulum go to uh, www.mysticmoonshop.com and uh, see all the wonderful things that we have and on our patreon uh we're going to be doing yes and no answer uh readings i just saw 17 17 that's interesting anyway yes or no readings uh with the pendulum uh live on our patreon uh in the near future i'm thinking maybe next week uh, and also on the new moon, we're going to be doing a new moon class and that will be four members only. And we'll see you guys soon. Love and blessings.